Uh, World Series over. Baseball season is over. Takeaways from the Red Sox World Series. Win. Uh, well, I think there's little doubt that the best team in baseball this year won the whole thing. And I don't think that happens a lot in sports, which is what makes the playoffs so interesting because the best team in the regular season doesn't always necessarily win in the playoffs. But the Red Sox had to go through a 100-win team in the, in the Yankees. Uh, they had to go through a 103-win team in the Astros, and then they had to beat a, a decent Dodger team in the World Series. Um, the biggest takeaway, I guess, for me is 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 just the, the games are taking way too long. It's 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 unfortunate unfortunate because you're trying to grow a new generation of baseball fans, and you're not allowing kids to stay up and watch the game because by the time they have to go to bed, we're only in the third inning because they don't start games till eight twenty. Is that part of the reason why the ratings are down? Which personally offends me, by the way. Uh, well, I mean, I, I'm watching the games. You know, I just think that the the sport the sport has become all or nothing. It's a tough sport to watch now because you're either hitting a home run striking out or walking. It's not a fun game where guys are hitting doubles to the gaps, they're getting triples, they're legging out triples, there's great defensive plays, there's fewer balls in play. It's not as entertaining because guys go up there trying to hit home runs because these pitchers are so tough. Uh, it's We certainly saw it in the World Series. That's the Dodgers mantra. We're either going to hit a home run or we're going to strike out. Well, we saw the team the win when it goes against that. They're almost a throwback. Cor- correct. Well, and, and that's people that follow baseball expect that to maybe shift back where teams are going to try to find guys that put the ball in play because you can't have a lineup like the Dodgers have because when you when it's all or nothing, if it's nothing for an entire series, they have no shot to win. Did you enjoy it? Uh, yeah, I did. And uh, my brother's a Dodgers fan, and he was in town, so we were sitting watching trying to stay awake. Now that game is the exception. I mean, it was a double game. It went 18 innings. <laughs> I couldn't make it. I tried. And I had worked late that night, and I still couldn't make it to the end. If baseball really wants to change, it's not about the time the game starts. The game started at like 8.15. That's about 20 minutes later than it used to start years ago. It's how long it takes. If they really wanted to make changes, make real changes to speed the game up. Not saying you can walk a guy by pointing to first base. What's that save you? One minute a game every three games? I mean, I totally forgot about that. (laughs) What the heck's going on here? (laughs) But if you really want to change, limit the amount of pitching changes you can make. Change uh, change the amount. Obviously, they change things like you're only allowed, what, six visits to the mound in a game? Limit the amount of time a guy can step out of the batter's box. Speed the game up. Again, they don't want to do that. For whatever reason, I don't understand. Baseball is slow to change. And even when you have a good product, and the Red Sox this year were a very good product in that way, deep team with a bunch of guys that can contribute, you put people to sleep too much. The games just take too long. It's funny you say that. So game three last Saturday night, right? Um, uh, we get back from something with my wife, and I turn the game on, and now she's interested because it's the World Series. So I'm trying to explain everything that's going on and get her into it. And right when we turn the game on is when they went left arm, right arm, left <laughs> arm, pitch with the Dodgers. So one batter, switch, one batter, switch. It's a three at bat that took 35 minutes, and my wife's asleep. I finally got like, hey, look at that. No, it's not going to do anything. <laughs> Manfred seems sensitive to these things. Will the will this World Series produce any s- serious change? Well, to me, the when you look at the ratings, you talk about the ratings being down. It was Boston and L.A., and if those two markets yeah. can't get ratings, then then there's there's a there is a problem because aside from Boston, the only other market in the in the American League that you could argue would have. Would, would give you better ratings would be New York. And so that's that's concerning in itself um, in that those two teams were in the World Series and the ratings were down. And not only do you have two high-profile teams that have big fan bases, there are also teams that other fans dislike, right, for different reasons. Yankee fans against the Red Sox and China. So you have the teams that everybody likes or dislikes, likes or dislikes, and you can't draw the numbers. Speed the games up. And it really just takes somebody really looking at the product and saying, this is what we need to do. Maybe he's the guy to do it. But I think it's got to be pretty drastic.